Now, during the month of March, I'm going to be doing some Q&A videos, and I want to give you a chance to participate. Now, all you have to do is just send me about five questions. You can comment below, message me, send me about five questions, and I'm going to do a separate video on those questions for this month. Just answering those questions, anything that you may have about the book, any question you may have about me personally, I want to be able to answer those questions. And that is what I'll be doing for this month of March. So anything you have, challenge me. Nothing too personal. Now, even though I'm kind of like a dancer person, but I know there's some things I can say on camera and some things I have to wait for another day to talk about. But anything you'd like to know, any concerns you have about the book, Please send me these questions. I'm going to make a video about them. And also, if you have a short testimony that you also want to share, um, send me like a one minute, one to two minute clip of it. And I'll put them at the end of my videos because I want to share not only my testimony, but testimonies of other great young women that overcome some things, you know, they're just trying to make in life go forward in their life in God. I want to share those stories too as well with the world. So thank you, and let's get on with these questions. And also, shout out to Shanisha for giving me these questions. I'm so excited about answering them, so let's get to it. I want to create sort of like a story timeline. I started out with Speak For Him, and that's just showing me, saying, okay, now I'm going to tell my testimony to you. And now we go to fear break loose. Now you finna get into the issues that I have. And now you go down to, you know, hello, my name is free. Now you finna see me make that decision to go forward. So I kind of just want to give you a piece of different issues that I dealt with. And I want to make sure I represent it, you know, just different parts of me. Uh, of course, um, in the beginning of the book, I started with 20 poems and I ended up with 30 because I feel like I wasn't representing everything and I had to just rewrite a couple of poems. But my mindset behind it is that I want to just, you know, present like a mirror to you so you can see the inside of my life, things that I dealt with, and also make it relatable to you that you know that, hey, that you're not the only person dealing with those things, that you're not alone, that you can go forward. So it's more like you read just a short story or I would say per se like a novel from beginning to end. No Apology is my favorite poem. Now that poem was birthed out of a frustration I was having. I got tired of the devil just talking to me, um, bringing us stuff. You know, I got tired of insecurity, rejection. You know, I got tired of all those different voices talking to me about who I was. And I was the type of person that I wanted to please everybody. Like if I had to talk a certain way, dress a certain way, you know, do a certain thing, if it pleases the next person, then I was fine with it. But inside, I was just screaming like, this is not who I am. And I prayed to God last year that I truly want to be the real Shakur, the Shakur that he made. And honestly, you guys, you have not met her. When I read this book and also look at me as a person, those are totally two different people. Because the person in the book, she sounds so confident, so strong. And me, I'm like still dealing with the insecurity, still dealing with the fearfulness. So no apology was like me making that step forward and coming out and saying, hey, I do not care how you feel about me. I'm still going to be Shakur. I'm going to be Shakur that God made. If you like me, fine. If you don't, still fine. I still love you. There are things that I stand for. If you don't stand for them, hey, that's still cool. And I believe that we should not be afraid to be ourselves. I feel like that the world puts so much pressure on us to act a certain way or we can't talk about certain things. You know, if you talk about this, you know, you're going to get kicked out. Don't put God in a whole lot of things because it's going to make people feel uncomfortable. And I'm like, you guys, you don't even know him. You don't have a relationship with him. So what you're mad about? And, you know, it's just a lot of different things. And it's something that I have struggled with my whole like it's like I want to just get out the box and just totally be Shakur. Like I do not care how people feel. I don't care how many attacks the devil send my way. I want to be Shakur. So I'm getting a little pretty excited about this question <laughs> because no apology. It wraps up that whole book. I want y'all to be yourselves. Embrace who you are. Embrace your standards. You know, you don't have to hide yourself or be something that you're not. So let me just get on to the next question. <laughs>
the emotion I was feeling in this poem, forgive me, is more like a sorrowful, you know, emotion like, hey, I feel bad that I treated myself a certain way and I want to say I'm sorry. And I just say I'm sorry just to be saying it, but to do something about it. And I'm learning about forgiveness and learning that when God say, you know, forgive others or he's not going to forgive you. Um, he also meant, you know, forgiving yourself as well. You have to forgive yourself. You can't just hold on to the past. And I had down myself a lot about, you know, having my son outside of wedlock, the things I did in the past, the thoughts I thought, and just putting myself down saying who I'll never be or I'm always going to be like that. But I cannot do that. I have to love Shakur. And I wanted to ask Shakur for her forgiveness. And you know, God, it's not a crazy thing, but some of us do have to ask ourselves for forgiveness. We have to forgive ourselves. After publishing this book, I feel like my relationship, um, well, not I feel like what I want to do is just mature more in my relationship with God. Because I don't want, you know, what I write in my book to be different from my walk. I want it to be like a walk-in, living epistle. And I just want to just be able to show, you know, the things that I talk about that I want to encourage you to do. That, hey, I'm doing it in my own life. So that's, you know, that's how I want to be. I want to mature in my relationship with God. Now, I thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or testimony, make sure you send them in. And